Welcome to the Castle Rock Quarterly Catch-Up for Q2 2024. I'll be providing you with an update on what the business has been up to over the past quarter, along with updates on the Castle Rock Services Australia Fund and the Castle Rock Government Property Fund. The Castle Rock team welcomed local state member for Frankston, Paul Edbrook, to our topping out ceremony in May, signifying the completion of the highest point of the structure, indeed an important milestone of the project. The team are now busy working on fitting off services, finalising the facade and working on the internals of the building. The development remains on time and on budget and is expected to be completed in March 2025. The fund was recently rated by independent rating agency SQM Research and received a 3.75 star or favourable rating through their review. For a copy of the research report, please contact Laura at the office. The recent capital raise exceeded our initial target of 30 million, with a total of over 34 million raised through the period. The fund is set to reopen again in August and will remain open for investment. Unit pricing and allocations will be completed monthly to allow investors access to the fund on a monthly basis. During the quarter, the team completed four independent valuations of the assets within the fund, representing approximately 52% of the fund, in line with valuation policies. The unit price has remained steady at $1.26. We're pleased to announce that the forecast distribution for FY25 will increase from 9.8 cents to 9.9 cents. Due to the strong environmental characteristics of the fund, NAP have converted our loan to a green loan reducing the line fee by 23 basis points. LVR is currently sitting at 39%, with 90% of the debt hedged for an average term of 3.8 years. Investor briefings for both the Castle Rock Services Australia Fund and the Castle Rock Government Property Fund will be occurring in October this year in Melbourne, Trelgan, Hobart, Ballarat and Albury. Tax statements will be sent out to investors on the 15th of August. Please keep an eye out for your invitation to the briefing closest to you. As part of a new seven-year lease agreement with Services Australia, refurbishment works at Warrigal have now been completed on time and on budget. These works include upgrades to lighting, fresh carpet and internal painting works, along with the installation of solar panels. The team continue to work closely with Services Australia and our engineers to install electrical vehicle charging points in three of the assets in the fund. We've seen the unit price lower from 81 cents to 74 cents due to revaluations of assets inside the fund. The effects of interest rate rises has had an impact on capitalisation rates for the assets. However, it's important to note that the distribution rate of 4 cents per unit has remained steady for the forecast for FY25. IRR of the fund currently sits at 13% and the LVR sits at 38%. Every year, we're delighted to run our Castle Rocketing of the Year initiative where staff nominate individuals who best display internal Castle Rock values. I'm very excited to announce that Courtney Oda this year was crowned Castle Rocketing of the Year at our annual partners dinner at Cumulus here in Melbourne. Mark Shanks, Kat Ferguson, Paul McGrady, Naomi Waters and Max Mahogany were also individually recognised for their commitments to our values. We also celebrated Aaron Ballinger's 15 year anniversary with Castle Rock. His dedication and relentless drive to add value in everything that he does were honoured on that night, along with his family proudly by his side. During the quarter, we saw internal promotions for Mark Shanks, now Group Financial Controller, and Paul McGrady moving up to Senior Facilities Manager. We also welcomed our new Senior Development Manager to the team, David Evers. We've got some exciting news in the pipeline for the Castle Rock Government Property Fund, which we'll hopefully be able to announce shortly. We look forward to bringing you our next quarterly update soon.